Amen, amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. <clears throat> just want to thank Yahweh for this wonderful day that he's given me. I just want to thank him for my wife. Uh, she is a beautiful, lovely wife that does the work in Mexico. I appreciate that. And I also want to give uh, thanks to Yahweh for letting our passports come in. That is a true yes, blessing. Yes. <clears throat> all right, let's all please stand and bow our heads and lift our voices unto Yahweh. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day that you've given us, Father Yahweh. We thank you for all the blessings seen and unseen, Father Yahweh. We thank you for the wonderful examples that you have in the church, Father Yahweh, like Apostle Washington and Mother Karen, Father Yahweh. Father Yahweh, we love you and thank you for all that you do in our lives, Father Yahweh. We know that you're with us all time, Father Yahweh. We love you and thank you for just listening to us as your servants, Father Yahweh. We love you and we thank you. We give double honor to the bishops this morning, this, after, this evening. And we thank them for the word that's going to come out forth, that it pours out onto Arlington, to Mexico, to here in Lubbock, Father Yahweh, and even those that are not even in the church that are just listening, Father Yahweh. We thank you for all that you do. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> I'm going to read out of Psalms 1. Uh, what did I have? <clears throat> uh, Psalms 123. Unto thee lift up I mine eyes, and thou that dwellest in heavens, behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hands of their masters, and as the eyes of the maidens unto the hands of their mistress, so their eyes wait upon Yahweh our God, unto that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Yahweh, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our souls are exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease, and with the contempt of the proud. We thank Father Yahweh for this wonderful day again that he had given us. <clears throat> now let's all just still remain standing as we bring up Pastor Riddle while he conducts service by saying, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Thank you, Brother Felix. Y'all may be seated. Amen. We praise Yahweh for allowing us to be here praise tonight. Yes, Giving double honor to the bishops, Apostle Washington, Evangelist Childers, and the teacher down here in Lubbock. Thank you, Yahweh, for the bishops, the apostles, prophet, evangelists, pastors, and teachers that we have in Arlington. Thank you, Yahweh, for the saints of Mexico as well. And we do thank Yahweh for allowing him to make a safe way trip. Those that traveled back this weekend. And I do thank Yahweh for allowing us to be here. Allowing us to make it one more time into his house. And I'm also thanking Yahweh for the fasting and praying that is set aside for us to do today. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. But we, all, we know also that the devil, he also present, presents himself yes, in the does. sanctuary as well. Amen. But we know that we come here to gather strength. Yes. Amen. Amen. I thank Yahweh for the word from Avengers Childers and Prophet Washington that went forth Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Yahweh, for the testimonies that's been going forth. Thank you, Yahweh, for Brother Willie and the strength that I've seen Amen. Yes. in him. And the testimony that he continues to, Amen. Yahweh continues to work on him. Yes, amen. 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 But I do thank Yahweh for Elder Cruz and Mother Mary being here with us tonight. And amen. Yahweh touching their bodies. And Amen. Amen. Yahweh knows what. He needs to do for us. Yes, he does. Amen. He knows what he, he provides for everything for us that we need. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yahweh Hallelujah. has been a great God. Yes, he has. Amen. Yahweh has been a blessing. Amen. Been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Amen. 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 Thanking Yahweh for his protection in the heat. Amen. Amen. And I thank Yahweh that he, the sun praises it, praises him like it does. Yes, amen. Because it was only, it's only doing what Yahweh created it to do. Yes, amen. 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 It's only doing what the maker has, has it for it to do. And I'm also thanking Yahweh for the rain that came in last night. Amen, yes. Hallelujah. You know, we decided to go get our it's time for our kids to start going back to school. So we had to go get some school supplies, and all of a sudden we hear thunder and lightning. I was planning on going to wash my wife's car yesterday, 
but that didn't happen. <laughs> it wasn't Yahweh's will. Amen. Amen. So we got to Walmart, and lightning and thunder going on, and all of a sudden the lights go off. <laughs> and my wife told me, she said, right before we walked in the door, she said, I don't want to be here when the lights go off. And, you know, I was like, you know, the lights ain't going to go off, you know, playing it off and all that. As soon as we got into one aisle, the lights went off. And she's just smiling over there, and I was looking at her. And I do thank Yahweh for my beautiful wife. Yes, amen. For the helpmate that Yahweh has put along my side. You know, I give her credit for the who the man I am. The way I look tonight is all her. Amen. Amen. She's been a blessing in my life, and I thank Yahweh that he changed my heart 11, almost 11 years ago. Amen. Amen. I had a plan for my life, and Yahweh had a different plan for my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our life didn't go as planned as we thought it was going to be. Amen. Before we came into this way. But Yahweh, he, he had a plan for all of us. Amen. He knew where we were going to be without us being born yet. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And I do thank Yahweh for Apostle Washington and the example that he continues to show for us young. Amen. Amen. And I was just, you know, looking at my nephew on Sunday, John, Brother John, and I was thanking Yahweh for the words that Yahweh told me when I was young. Amen. When I was about his age. Yes. I was like, you know, Yahweh, I thank you for correcting me when I needed it. Amen. I thank him for telling me the things that I didn't want to hear at the time. And, and he saw fit to tell me anyway. Amen. Amen. I'd like to call your attention to 2 Corinthians 6, if you don't mind. But I do thank Amen. Yahweh for the word going forth, as it has. I've been, you know, Yahweh's been working on me. Hallelujah. Amen. And I hope Yahweh's been working on you. But the devil's real. Yes, he is. He's out to seek. He's out to destroy us, steal Amen. and take our joy and all that away from us. The things that Yahweh has given unto us. Amen. He's trying to take it away from us. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. He's try he was trying me today. Amen. My job has been really, really, really slow here lately. But my boss said, even if we get off early, she's still allowing us to put five, five o'clock on our time sheet so we're not missing time. Amen. 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 And I do thank Yahweh for that. Amen. You know, if you work hard, give you 200% like the Spirit tells you to do. You know, you have all these benefits that most don't have. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They, she treats them different than they, she treats me. You know, I'm a, when she's there... Amen. When she's there, Amen. she, everybody runs out the break room. And everybody's not slack like they normally are. Amen. Everybody want to start cleaning and all that. But you had all this time to do that. Yeah. Then the, in, the, in, the, in the warehouse manager, he sits there and tells me, oh, don't be in the break room when she comes. Yeah. Amen. When I, so I'm sitting in the break room. He's looking at the window through, through the window at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at the time. It's our break time. So the boss walks in. She's smiling. She opens the door and she, hey, Bobby, how you doing? Oh, I'm blessed. Yeah. And uh, I see the manager like this on, on the other side. <laughs> and, you know, I ain't got nothing to fear. Amen. Amen. I'm a, I do what the, what the job tell me to do. Amen. I take my breaks when the job tell me to take my break. Amen. I take my lunch on time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do give my 200%. I'm not calling in like everybody else. Amen. And I know I'm not sick. Yes, amen. 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 Hallelujah. And I, and I get benefits the way Yahweh gives, blesses me to have. Amen. Amen. Everybody else over there sweating and all that. Worried about their job. I'm not. Amen. Because my faith is in Yahweh. Yes, amen. I'm doing what the Spirit told me to yes. do. Yes. 
Amen. Not stealing time and all that. Yeah. On the clock when I when I ain't supposed to be. Yeah. Clocking in to, just to eat breakfast. <laughs> there ain't no work to be done. Yeah. Smoke go out there. Sm there's, there's this man on my job. He clocks in at eight, and he goes in the in the smoke room. Be in there for thirty minutes. <laughs> Amen. They only do that when the boss is not around. Because yeah. uh, at our job, we don't have that much supervision. Because uh, the main boss, he's out there picking orders too. So he don't have time to be babysitting everybody. Yeah, that's right. I don't need him to babysit me. Yahweh Amen. has always got his eyes on me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read. Second Corinthians 6 and 1. What yes. Is written, uh -huh. When then, as workers together with them. We then, yes. As, As workers, workers together. together with him, uh -huh. beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of Yahweh in vain. See, we have Yahweh's grace upon us. Amen. And I thank Yahweh that his grace has been bestowed upon me and my family. Amen. Amen. See, I love my wife the way the scripture tell me to love her. And the example that I'm continuing to follow. I look at Apostle Washington and I see how he loves his wife. Amen. Amen. And I say I have to have the same works. Amen. And I oftentimes heard the, you know, the house, the, the house is not going to be no stronger than the man that's in it. Yes, amen. And I heard that over and over, and I'm looking at it, and I, you know, sometimes I see my wife with a frown on her face. Amen. Amen. And the Spirit looking at me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I'm the head of the house. Yes, amen. I got peace in my house now. Yes. Amen. I have the peace is there. Hallelujah. Because the spirit of Yahweh is in the house. Because I'm working on myself. My wife's working on herself. Amen. We're no longer working on each other. Amen. 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 But we're all workers together. Yes, amen. We're all in here in this thing together. Amen. Yahweh's grace has been bestowed upon us. Yes. That we should be called the children of God. Yes, amen. 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 We have to go through our trials and tribulations. Yes, we do. The way Yahweh wants us to go through it. Amen. We got to take it patiently. Amen. 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 Uh, even though Apostle was talking to Brother Michael back there on Sunday, I was looking at myself. I was judging myself. Amen. I got to make sure everything is perfect in my life. Amen. So Yahweh shows up, I'm ready to go back with him. Yes, amen. 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 I'm not sitting there judging him. Amen. Not judging nobody in here. When the Spirit calls your name, I'm looking at myself. Amen. I ain't got time to look at you. Amen. Amen. I've done that before, looking at everybody else. Amen. Throwing the word on somebody else. Amen. Now I'm starting to lack and starting to get weak. Amen. Amen. Devil's wrestling with me. Now I ain't got no strength to fight him. Amen. Because I'm pushing the word off on somebody else. Amen. We're in here together. Yes. Amen. Amen. What, what he says to one, I say to all. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. It's there to strengthen everybody else. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I make sure I got to do my part. Amen. I'm walking up right before I, I, I even tell you to do something. Yes. Amen. Amen. If I, I got to tell you to love your wife, I got to make sure I'm doing it for myself. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to help you. It ain't going to benefit you because you're just going to push it off on me. Amen. Well, you better start loving your wife, Pastor. I seen what you did the other day. <laughs> Amen. 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 It's easy. Yeah, it's easy to say do this and do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle often tell us that our works have to back it up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You have to be perfect before you tell somebody else they need to be perfect. Amen. Amen. Let's read. For he saith, I uh, have heard thee in a time accepted, yes. and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Uh huh. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now is the day of salvation. Amen. Now it's time to straighten up. Amen. Amen. Now it's time to get things right. Hallelujah. Is Yahweh coming back one day? Yes, he is. Amen. One of these days, he's coming back. He's Amen. stepping out on that cloud. Amen. Amen. We sing a song. It says, you're going to... That day he's going to crack the sky, 
You're going to wish that you had been holy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody going to be arguing with their spouse that day. Not at all. All of a sudden, they're going to be hugging that day. Amen. They're going to be too late then. You're already caught in that very act. Amen. Amen. It's going to be too late. The, the, the Yahweh's grace is out. Amen. Now it's time to be judged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why I want to get my life right now. Amen. No man knows the hour. Amen. Amen. No man knows when he's going to give up the ghost. Amen. That's why I had to make up in my own mind to get my house straightened up. Yes. Amen. I was playing with Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Playing patty cake with the devil. Hallelujah. Playing tag with him. Amen. My wife playing tag with him. Tag, you're it. You're it. She in the one room. I'm in the other room. Amen. Amen. Because we are upset with one another. Amen. I'd rather sleep out here. She'd rather sleep in there. Amen. Amen. You got to watch out for the devil. Yes, amen. He's seeking. He's walking around seeing who he may devour. Amen. He already got some. Amen. amen. And he ain't done yet. Amen. He's not done Hallelujah. until he got every last one of us. Amen. 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 I ain't got time to loosen up. No. I ain't got time to kick my feet up. No. I got I to gotta race to run. Amen. Amen. Nine and nine and a half won't do. Hallelujah. Running out of time. Amen. That's right. I'm glad I woke up this morning. Amen. It yes. gave me another chance at salvation. Yes. To get this thing right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, now is the acceptable time. Yahweh woke you up. He gave you another day. Amen. Amen. To accept this word that he's given unto us. Yes, amen. To make sure that we are on the right track. Amen. Amen. Some stepped off the path. Amen. Try to find another way around. There ain't no other way around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no way around the word of God. Amen. There's no way up or over the word of God either. Amen. You can't go under it. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to come in at the door. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read. Behold, now is the accepted, accepted time. Behold, yes. now is the day of salvation. Yes. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. See, we can't blame the ministry. Amen. 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 The, the church is always right. There's nothing wrong with the church. Something wrong with us. There's nothing wrong with the church. Amen. Amen. Yahweh Hallelujah. is perfect. We the one that mess up. Yes. We can't get mad at Yahweh for him correcting us. When we know we're doing the wrong thing. Amen. Amen. Spirits are talking about tithing and offering. You better be in it. Amen. Your name better be in that book when yes. he returns. Amen. 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 That's part of your salvation. Amen. Amen. You'll be left back with, from that. Amen. 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 Every time we get our check, Yahweh's first. Amen. We put Yahweh first. Amen. And everything he adds unto us. Yes. Amen. He says, seek the kingdom of Yahweh first. Yes. Amen. And all his righteousness. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. When we didn't think about Yahweh first, that's when everything be became empty. Amen. We started losing out on things. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm working so hard, but I can't get no money in my pocket. Amen. Yeah, we got a hole in our pocket. I became cursed, like the word said I was going to be. Amen. 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 So I see my house start getting separated. Amen. Daughter against me, all my kids. Amen. My wife looking at me. There's separation. That lets you know the devil been in there. Amen. Where the devil's been, there's confusion in every evil work. Amen. 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 There's a uh, separation between you and your brother. The devil's been in there. Amen. The devil's been talking. Amen. We are workers together. Amen. Amen. We, I'm supposed to let Brother Felix know if something's going on that ain't right with him. 
That's my job as an overseer. Amen. Amen. I'm on the tower. Amen. Hallelujah. We got Apostle Washington who, was, who sits on that high tower, and he looks. Amen. Amen. He gives instruction to each and every one of us. Even us bishops, we, he gives us instruction. Amen. I know what I, where I'm taught at. Yes. Amen. I know where my teachings come from. Yes. Amen. 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 And the Amen. more and more I lean on to the teachings that we've been taught and, and, and obey them, the more Yahweh is pleased with me. The more y the devil has to flee from my presence. Yes. Amen. 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 Because I'm too strong at this time. Devil knows who to get. Yeah. Amen. Devil Amen. knows who, who is his. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's okay to put on this play and all that. On this costume, this holy costume. Some of us got holy costumes on. Amen. Just pull it off when you get, get out them doors. Yeah. Amen. Take the halo off. Yeah. Yahweh know who's real and who's not. Amen. Amen. And so does the, de the devil. A lot of us stop testifying because the devil always steps in. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yahweh heard your testimony and so did, did the devil. Amen. 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 I used to be a big pretender in this way. I, I have everybody fooled that I'm loving my wife at home. Come in, sing, and have no problem. Like Apostle said, grabbing his mic, conducting praise service, playing the drums. Singing my songs to Quentin over there. No problem. Oh, I got many songs. But inside, amen, I know that I'm a hypocrite. Yes, amen. Knowing that Yahweh is not accepting my songs right now. Amen. amen. My amen. testimony. The Spirit can look at my, my family and see there's something wrong with me. Not them, me. Hallelujah. I used, to have, I used to have a problem touching my wife. I'm talking about my sin. Amen. I'm talking about me. Amen. Where Yahweh brought me from. See, it took a worker in his way. A holy man. To show me my wrong. Amen. It took Yahweh to point it out for me. Yes. When I was deceiving myself. Yes. It's so easy to deceive yourself. Say you're okay when you're not. When you're hurting inside, it's okay. it seems that you should be pressing to Yahweh the more. But sometimes we want to take that work into our own hands. Amen. Say we, we have a better way of working it out. Amen. 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 Let's read. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of Yahweh, in much patience, uh -huh. in afflictions, yes. in necessities, in distresses. There's something we got to approve ourselves. Amen. Amen. You got something to prove. Yeah. As a bishop, I got something to prove. Amen. 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 Even before I got up here, I was like, Yahweh, please give me the words to say. Because I had some, but it wasn't this. Amen. 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 Yahweh Amen. said, not that, this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I'm thankful for the man of God every single day. Yes. Amen. I'm glad I got a man in my life that stepped in my father's place. Amen. To help guide me in his way. See, as a young man, you should let the older ones guide you in his yes. way. Amen. Amen. Especially if they're holy and upright. Amen. They have wisdom. You should pay attention to what they have to say. Amen. The mothers too, sisters. Amen. Mother's telling you something that's wise. You need to listen. Amen. Submit yourself. Amen. Amen. So we think we know what's best for us. Amen. Amen. We think we got it made. Amen. Amen. But when the word comes forth, you find out that you're undone. Hallelujah. I think I, I thought I was okay many times. I thought I was doing all right. Here the Spirit came. Pulled that cloak off. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It showed me how really hateful I really was. Yeah. Amen. Because I was a very hateful man without Yahweh. Especially to my family. Many times the man of God had to step into my house. Tell me that I wasn't a real husband or a real father. I love, your, I love your kids more than you do. 
sat in my house and told me that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Told me how lazy I was. Amen. You ain't the first. Amen. The same word that the Spirit gave unto you gave to me. Amen. That's what helped shape me, though. To be what I need to be today. Yes, amen. You need to let those words shape you. Amen. Don't let them destroy you. Let them shape you. They don't work in your heart because Yahweh knows what's inside of you. Yes. Amen. Yahweh knows what's in that heart of ours. Yes. This, this heart of ours is deceitful above all things in this body. Amen. 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 Let's read. In stripes, uh -huh. in imprisonment, yes. in tumults, tumults, in, uh -huh. tumults uh -huh. in labors, yes. in watchings, in fasting. How many so much corrections I've gotten in this place? Amen. <laughs> I'll just say, you want to see my back? I, you want to see mine too? I got some. <laughs> they were needful though. A lot of them do, I didn't need, but I because I was so hard-headed. <laughs> Spirit saw me, found me. You say, search me, Lord, all you want to. That's easy to say. Yahweh going to find you just as quick. Amen. Because the word is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes, amen. He's going to cut you up. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I found out I had a problem. Hallelujah. I had a problem with the word. Amen. I'm telling you, Yahweh to search me, find me. Tell me the truth. This ain't no other, like other churches out there. <laughs> this ain't T.D. Jake church. <laughs> Far from it. <laughs> this ain't Joe Osteen church. It's not Creflo Dollar church. <laughs> we don't have no false prophets in here. Amen. Ro Yahweh rose up true holy Amen. prophets in his way. The ones that you read about, they cried out against sin. Amen. Cried out against kings. Amen. 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 Even Saul couldn't get away from the spirit of Yahweh. Because Yahweh is the one who, who, who put him in that position. Yeah. Yahweh put us all in position. Yes. Amen. He said, I tell, I, I, I'll take down kings. Amen. Amen. You think you somebody in this way. Amen. Nobody can tell you nothing. Amen. Amen. Yahweh got the last word. Yes. Amen. Amen. No matter what doctors say, yes. Yahweh got the last word. Amen. Amen. You think about giving up. Amen. 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 Yeah, it's going to get hard at times. But don't give up. Amen. Yeah, it says press for the prize. Amen. Amen. It's a press. Something that the flesh don't want to do at all. Amen. My flesh didn't want to fast. It didn't want to pray. Amen. It didn't want to listen to holy music. Nothing like that. Amen. It didn't want to listen to the word. Nothing. Amen. Anything that had to do with God, it did not want to do. Amen. <laughs> but I had to force myself. I had to beat and bring my body under subjection. Yes. Amen. I said, we're going to do all that. Yeah. You can cry. You can kick. You can pull your hair out all you want to. But we're going we gonna, to we gonna fast today. Yes. Amen. <laughs> no matter how, how much that food looked good at that time. Amen. 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 Them, them breakfast burritos look. <laughs> how much my stomach started growling. Amen. I said, no, we ain't doing that. This fast is what's keeping my house together. Yes. Amen. Amen. This praying is what's keeping my house together. Amen. Amen. This reading is what's keeping my house together. Amen. 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 Yahweh has brought me and my wife so close. Amen. Amen. That I had to work on myself. Amen. Husband, you got to work on yourself. Hallelujah. To get what Apostle Washington got. You got to work on yourself. Yes. Amen. Amen. You got to stop running for your trials and tribulations. Amen. Amen. Because you're either going to suffer with Yahweh or without Yahweh. Yes. Amen. Amen. One of the two. Either way, you're suffering. But it's better to suffer for well-doing yes. than for evil. Amen. My sister almost lost her son. 
Amen. 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 Would have been about two weeks if he would have died. Amen. Two weeks in the grave. Amen. 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 But the other young man that was in the car, he did leave, lose his life. Amen. They were both in the same car. And I was telling, telling my sister, you got to look. Yahweh trying to tell you something. Amen. Yahweh trying to tell us all something. Yes, amen. Amen. You need to stop and see what Yahweh's trying to tell you. Amen. You need to slow down in your life what you're planning on doing. Amen. Your careers, your jobs, and all that. And see what Yahweh's doing for you. Amen. See what's been taken away. You can see Yahweh working. Amen. 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 You can see him if you just slow down. Put Yahweh on the back burner. We get wrapped up in our life. Yes. Amen. What we planning on doing with Amen. our life. Amen. Amen. But Yahweh is not in that plan. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Amen. Amen. Disappointed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Been there too. Amen. Amen. I don't, I don't do nothing without seeking counsel now. Amen. 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 Yes. Me and my wife, we don't do nothing without seeking counsel now. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. Amen. We just going down the street to, to Idaloo over there. Seek the prophet. Amen. Amen. Is it okay if we go here? Do you see anything? What the prophets are for. Yes. Before I get it on any plane, any bus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yahweh has to be your all in all. Amen. Let's read. By pureness, uh -huh. by knowledge, yes. by long suffering, uh -huh. by kindness, yes. by the Holy Ghost, yes. by love un unfading. So you, your love has to have no limits. Amen. Amen. Yahshua's love has no limits. Yahweh's love has no limit. No matter how wrong you are, Yahweh's hand is still there. Amen. The Spirit of Yahweh has much patience on us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh's love is so hard to explain. Amen. If you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Amen. Yahweh tastes so good. Amen. The word tastes so good. Amen. I can't picture myself without Yahweh. I can't live my life without Yahweh. Amen. There is nothing out there. I know that. I've been there, done that. All it is is misery. And you full as you can say how happy you think that you are. Amen. I've been out there. Amen. I was happy for a season. Until all that was taken away. And all I had to do was look back up to Yahweh. Come back to the church. That's all I had left. My mom didn't want me to live with her. My friends didn't want me out there with them. Amen. They say, oh, come on, come on. It's so fun out here. The devil looks like, it's so fun out here. Amen. Like I say, look behind the scenes. Amen. When the lights are turned off, when yeah. the camera's off. Amen. 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 You don't know what that person got. You don't know what kind of sickness they got. Even if they don't have any sickness. Yahweh can put something on yes. you that you that can't even be taken away. Amen. Amen. You can go get tests and all that. They may say it's negative, but there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you, and you know it. Amen. Amen. I, there was something wrong with me, and I knew it. Amen. I can't get. I can't. I can't stop loving Yahweh. Hallelujah. Amen. I can't stop loving him. Yes. That's why I had to let all my friends go. Amen. All of them. Amen. You want to find me, you find me here in the church. Yes. Hallelujah. You're loving my wife, loving my kids. Amen. That's where you find me. Amen. In the word of God, that's where you're going to find me. Yes. Amen. 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 This phone, I no longer have anything to hide on it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Nothing. I ain't got no code. I just handed it to my wife. Years ago, oh, it would have been a struggle. That would have been a struggle. Amen. Shaking and all that. <laughs> Sweating. I mean, 
Let me have it. Baby, can I please let, uh, use your phone? What's wrong with your phone? <laughs> we both have phones. <laughs> I want to use yours, though. Um, one second, please. <laughs> Let me take something off of on there real quick. Amen. Yeah, that, that sneaky person. Yeah, that was me. Amen. 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 My wife, you didn't trust me. There was something wrong with me. Spirits I was wrestling, but I wasn't giving myself to Yahweh to, for him to help me fight them spirits. Amen. Amen. You can't fight them spirits without Yahweh. It's impossible to overcome any spirit Amen. that you wrestle with without Yahweh. Amen. Amen. It's impossible. Amen. You give in. Yes. Jealousy, you give in. Yes. Lying, you give in. Amen. Drunkenness, you give in. Hallelujah. Cheating, you get in, you give in. Amen. Adultery, you give in. Amen. Amen. Fornication, you'll give in. Yeshua yes, said only these spirits that come out is only through fasting and praying. Amen. It's the only way you're going to get them spirits out. They're not going to be so hard to overcome, amen, when you have Yahweh in your life. Yes. Amen. 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 <coughs> yeah, I was that sneaky fella that the spirit was talking about on Sunday. Amen. That was me. Amen. amen. Love my video games, amen. Didn't, didn't want to grow up like the spirit was telling my nephew. Amen. Amen. But there's a time in your life where you're going to have to grow up. Amen. You, there's a time in your life you're going to have to mature. Amen. You're going to have to find out that you love your family above everything. Amen. Except for Yahweh. Amen. 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 I found out I didn't love my family like I thought I did. I thought just going to work was good enough. Putting food on the table was good enough. Paul said, no, the example that you set. That's what's going to help. Yeah, all men do that. Yeah. But living right, they don't do that. Because yeah. they don't know how to live right. Yeah. But we in a church today that teaches us how we ought to live right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So there should be no excuse. Yeah. Husband and wife, no excuse. Yeah. Why you can't love one another. Yeah. Why you can't love your children yeah. the way you're supposed to. There's no excuse. You lay your life down like the Spirit told you to lay your life down. You stop getting offended when the man of God says, I love your children more than you do. Amen? You'll stop getting offended in that. Amen. Because Yahshua still said, Woe unto them that are often offended in me. Every time the word goes forth, you got something you want to say? You offended? Amen? You shut down? Amen. When the Spirit says, Love that person, you shut down? Love your wife, you shut down? Pay Amen. your tithe and you shut down. Amen. 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 There's no time for shutting down. Mm. I don't want, I'm done with all that. Devil, I'm done. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I kicked him out a long time ago. Amen. I want the devil to know I'm here to stay. Amen. Amen. My strength comes from Yahweh. Amen. Amen. My strength come from Zion. Yes. That's Amen. why I'm here tonight. Yes. I ain't worried about nobody else in this place. Amen. Amen. I'm doing. I'm here to do what the man of God told me to do through the Spirit of Yahweh. Yes. Amen. I can care less about what, what you think of me. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do what the Spirit tell me to do. That's it. There ain't nothing else after that. Amen. I'm going to listen to what the Spirit has for my family, and I'm going to stand on it. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm not here to play with the devil. I'm not. Amen. I'm here to stand up for what's right. Yes. Lift up a standard in the church. Amen. 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 Be Amen. strong for my brothers. Yes. Be, be strong for the children. Yes. Amen. Be strong for the sisters in this way. Amen. That's what the man of God, when I look at him, that's what he stands for. Amen. When he's through my eyes, that's what he stands for. 
He's going to do what Yahweh told him to do, whether you like him or not. But he's going to treat you right. We're charged to still treat you right. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 That's why we got to stay in the word. Because everything he does is, is from the word of God. Based on the scriptures. Amen. 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 So let's read. By the word of truth, uh -huh. by the power of Yahweh, yes. by the armor of righteousness uh -huh. on the right hand and on the left. See, I love the word of truth. Amen. Yes. It's going to tell me like I, I, I know I need to look at myself as. I'm no good without him. Amen. Teacher, I often say we're nothing without Yahweh. Amen. We're nothing. You're nothing. Amen. 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 The things I know... Today is because of the man of God. The only reason I was able to come to, out of my sin was because of the word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Become a, a man in this way because of the word. Amen. Amen. To love my wife because of the word. Yes, it's all because of the word. Yes. Amen. 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 You got to find yourself in there. Yes, Pause off to say, keep your eyes on the word. Yes, amen. The hardest thing for him to do is to keep us in the word. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I see, I, I, I'm always thinking, I was pulling up and I seen Brother Felix uh, opening the doors already. Amen. 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 We got to care about this ministry. Amen. Your heart got to be in this ministry or you're going to fail. Amen. You better start getting busy. Amen. Busy for Yahshua. That's why a lot of them failed because they wasn't busy. Amen. Stop fasting. Stop praying. Stop concentrating themselves. Amen. 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 Once you do all that, the devil has easy access. Without the armor of God, Amen. you can't you can't stand the wiles of the devil. Amen. You're gonna slip in through all them cracks. Yes. Take that helmet off if you want to. Amen. Take the armor off because you think it's too heavy. Amen. Everything that Yahshua gave us is light. Amen. Amen. There's nothing Amen. on us that's that's heavy. Amen. We the one that put all that heaviness back on us. Yahshua said, my burden is light. Amen. Yes. My yes. yoke is easy. Yes. Amen. There ain't nothing too hard for God. Amen. There's nothing impossible for God. Amen. Then why do we think that there's things that are too hard for Yahweh? Amen. 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 We got to be strong for one another. Yes. The was trying to kill us out, off yes. one by one. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> putting our focus in the things that don't need to be focused on. You need to look at that weakness you got. Get over there and strengthen it before it's too late. Amen. You better get with that brother before it's too late. Amen. You better get with that sister before it's too late. Amen. I ain't got no hate for nobody in this way. Amen. I love is my love is pure, just like Yahweh. Yes, Amen. I love what Yahweh love and I hate what Yahweh hate. Yes. Amen. And I hate the thoughts that Satan puts in my mind when it comes down to everyone in his way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that way ain't got no respect to person when it comes down to hating somebody. No. I don't care how pure you think you are, how holy you think you are. The devil has he always got something to tell you. He always steps in. Amen. 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 No matter how much the church love, show love, the devil always has something to say. Amen. <laughs> Turn to that the, in the world they say, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Amen. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Some of y'all biting Yahweh's hand. And he feeding you. Giving you the things that you really need. Yes, amen. And you bite, bite in his hand. Because you don't want what he wants, the food that he has for you. 
Is a, is, this table is big enough for everybody to sit at. Amen. Yes. There's plenty of room for everybody. Yes. I don't need to be jealous that teaches the gift that Yahweh is giving unto him. Amen. The gift that Brother Felix got. Amen. Brother John got. Brother Michael got. Elder Cruz got. Why? I got my own gift Yahweh giving unto me. Amen. I got my own position that Yahweh gave unto me. Amen. Why would I get mad at, at you, what Yahweh has put you in? The devil's a liar. And you better start telling him that. You better start fighting him, not one another. Amen. It's time to put the fight to where it really needs to be at. Amen. Pick up that shield and that, that sword. Amen. Go into battle against Satan. Yes, amen. Amen. Let's read. By honor and dishonor, uh -huh. by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true. Paul's will often say 99% of what people have to say is the truth. Amen. Amen. I had to get that in me. The people had a lot to say about me. Amen. 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 But I had to judge within myself. Yes, amen. About what people were saying. Amen. And I said, you know what? <laughs> when it boils down to it, the truth, that's what it is. Yes, amen. If you want to really be true with yourself, you got to see yourself. Amen. Why are you going to get mad at somebody you have a booger hanging out your nose? <laughs> you, it, it's your fault you didn't look in the mirror. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Walk out, you get mad at somebody, oh, you got a booger in your nose. Mind your business. <laughs> yeah, mind your business. <laughs> they just trying to help you. <laughs> I'll be glad when people tell me that. <laughs> I, you know how many people I just got done talking to? <laughs> and they didn't tell me? <laughs> Where's the love at? Amen. 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 Yahweh saying, where's the love at? Amen. Where's the love at for one another? CJ, I want you to tell me if, some, if you see me doing something wrong. I want you to correct me. Don't be afraid. I'm telling you, everybody, don't be afraid. Amen. We're supposed to be our brother's keeper. Amen. You're just doing what on um, Bible orders, what you're doing. But some, you got to. Eggshells. Mm. Let me think before I say this. We don't know if you're going to blow a top. Amen. Amen. We don't know what you're going to do next. <laughs> yeah, steam start coming out your ears and all that. Look like you're a ticking time bomb. We're supposed to be easily to be entreated. We're supposed to be saints of Yahweh. Amen. I don't care if it pause on down. Everybody tell me that I'm doing something wrong. Tell me. Kids ain't worried about it. They tell you, you know you ain't supposed to be arguing. They don't care. They, they know you're the parent and all that. Amen. They, they know you got that belt and all that, but they ain't going to tell you what's right. Amen. 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 <laughs> you got to love Yahweh more than that. Yahweh, he's the church. Yes, he is. Yahshua Amen. is the church. Yes. You got to love one of you got to, you look, you say you love Yahshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody in here is the church. Amen. This is the church. Amen. When you show love to the church, that means you love Yahshua, the Messiah. Amen. That means you love Yahweh because that's who Yahweh sent down for our, our example. Amen. Amen. Yahweh, Yahshua is the chief cornerstone of the church. Yes. Amen. You say your spirit dwells in you. Oh, yeah, that's going to be tested, too. That love is going to be tested. Yes, it is. Amen. They will always say, come to me. Oh, you're doing this by yourself. That's what he say. I don't be listening to him. Amen. I ain't got time for him no more. I said, I'm too busy. 
Amen. Man. You got to stop picking up the phone phone when he ring, when he calling your number. Yeah. Do them like you do all them, them bill collectors. <laughs> yeah, that spam risk you see on there. Oh, there's the devil. He's calling. Nope, I'm not answering that. Man. You put him on block and he calls you from somebody else's phone. Yes, man. Use somebody else's phone to call you. <laughs> Amen. 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 Uh, Yahweh's on the main line. Amen. She was on the main line. Tell him what you want. Amen. Amen. You want some strength? You better ask Yahweh for it. Hallelujah. He said, let the weak say I'm strong. Amen. Amen. Stop saying you weak, you strong. Amen. Amen. Every brother in here got to start saying they strong. Amen. Amen. Every sister in here better start saying they strong. Amen. 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 Let's read. As unknown and yet well known, uh -huh. as dying, and behold, we live as chastised, chastised, chastened, uh -huh. chastened, and uh -huh. not killed. See, y'all, when y'all would correct us, he's not killing us. <laughs> when the word going forth, it's not here to kill you. It's here to kill that flesh of yours. Amen. Yeah, that sin. The bishops are set up for one thing and one thing only. Amen. To cry aloud and spare not. Amen. 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 Show the sins that you're doing. Amen. 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 There's only one I have to answer to at the end. Amen. And that's Yahweh himself. Yes. Amen. My dad's already given up the ghost. My Aunt Brenda's already died in his way. Amen. They ran, they race. And the turner's race is gone. It's over with. Amen. Amen. Brother Isaac, his, his race is run already. It's over with. Amen. Amen. Brother Arthur's race is over with. Amen. Look at all the ones that died. Some died in the faith. Some didn't. Amen. The question is, how is your race going to end? Yes, amen. Yes. Don't focus on my life. Focus on your life. Not focus on Brother Felix's life. I'm not focused on Brother John's life. Amen. Spirit already got come forth to tell you what you need to do. Amen. 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 That's your job to keep to maintain good works. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my dad's righteousness ain't gonna save me. Also's righteousness ain't gonna save me. I gotta have my own works. Yes, amen. And why Apostle Paul say, work out your own salvation. This is salvation you got to work out for yourself with fear and trembling. They all fear Yahweh. Amen. With true fear. Yes. Like Apostle was saying, if I don't walk up right, I look at my kids. I know Yahweh has touched them in times past. Yes. For my own eyes to see. And I knew they were Yahweh. I knew that was Yahweh. Do you have a child where the doctors say there's no, they never seen it before? Amen. Oh, yeah, there it is. Amen. Open my eyes. What does Yahweh need to do to open your eyes so that you can see this thing perfectly? Yes, amen. Because yeah, this is painted out crystal clear for us to understand. Amen. We know what sin is. We know that thing that's defiling us. Amen. Those things we need to stay away from. Amen. Some things I need to stay away from. I had to build that trust up back with my wife. Amen. I had to do it. That's the work I had to do. I had to fix that bond between me and my kids. I had to do it. There's some things you got to fix. Amen. But you're going to need Yahweh to fix it. Hallelujah. Let's read. As sorrowful, yet away rejoicing. Uh -huh. As poor, yet making many rich. Yes. As having nothing, and yet possessing all things. Uh huh. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you. Our heart is enlarged. You can see how much Apostle loves the body of Lubbock, the body of Mexico, Amen. the church of Arlington. His heart is enlarged. Amen. 
Amen. That's why he keeps striving the way he is. That's why he spends much time trying to encourage everybody. Take time out with everybody. Even takes time out with us. Amen. Willing to give a sacrifice his life for us. To go without with for us. And we don't have no money. He steps in. Amen. Yahweh, our hearts are enlarged. Yahshua loves everybody. Amen. He didn't turn nobody away. Amen. Even when he knew they were just there just to be healed and not to hear the word of God. Don't you know we can be like that too? We just come in here, want to be healed. We live right for a little while. Like James Cleveland saying, where is your faith in God? Amen. Amen. Where is your faith? Amen. 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 We can come in here and just want to be healed. And some just came in here just to get their life changed and turn around back, go right back to it. Amen. 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 Wasn't in here for salvation. We become wolf and sleep sheep clothing. Amen. Thank we sheep. Amen. But inwards, we wolves. Raven and wolves. Amen. So I've been set up just to come in here. Encourage you to do the right thing. Then they depart. Go back out there into the world. Amen. Amen. We have Judas's in this way. Yes, we do. Amen. We have Esau's in this way. Cry a lot. Cry. Repent and cry. But don't find repentance. Amen. Amen. Cry. No, you got to change. But you won't change. Amen. Amen. Because you don't hate it enough to change. Yes. Amen. Where there's no shame, there's no change. That's right. What I've been taught in this way, where there's no shame, there's no change. I had to start being ashamed of what I was doing. Amen. The love I was pouring out to my kids wasn't love. Amen. It was that earthly love, yeah. that sensual, that devilish love, yeah. that love that has a limit. Yeah. That love. Yeah. Amen. 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 Now, Yahweh, I'll turn on everybody in this place. Amen. Amen. I'll turn on you. I don't care how much love you've shown. Amen. Yeah. We are evil. Amen. Nasty people. Unruly people. Amen. Selfish people. Rebellious. Everything wrapped in one. But with Yahweh, I'm loving. Amen. I'm huggable. Amen. Hallelujah. Shake your hand, smile at you. That's y'all, that's all Yahshua. That's all him. When the devil wants me to talk about you, I say no. Amen. I, I ain't gonna say that. Yes, amen. I'm not gonna that's not coming out of my mouth. Yes, amen. I do like apostles do. Go talk to somebody that will listen yes, to you. Amen. amen. Because me and my house, we're gonna serve Yahweh. Yes, amen. We serve Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Let's read. Ye are not straightened in us, uh -huh. but ye are straightened in your own bowels. Uh -huh. Now, for a recomp recompense, recompense uh -huh. in the same, I speak as unto my children, yet ye also enlarge. See, Yahweh speaks unto us as children because we are children. Amen. We're supposed to be his children. Amen. Just like we expect our children to listen to us. Yahweh expects the same way for us to listen to every word that he, he says. Amen. It's like you will chastise them when they don't listen to you. Amen. You'll get on to them, but Yahweh's a better father than we are. Amen. Sometimes we have limits. We, we start losing hope. Some people have lost hope in their kids. Just because they're out there, amen, you're still supposed to have some hope. Amen. You're like Yahweh have hope on you. You don't lose hope. Amen. amen. You're supposed to walk this thing by faith. Amen. You're supposed to be a living, a lively hope. Yes. Amen. Within Amen. us. 
I have hope for my kids. No matter what I see, because what I see can be deceiving. Amen. What I hear can be deceiving. That's why you have to have faith. Things that you don't see. Oh, it's going to work out, though. Yahweh's already worked it out. I just got to sit here and wait patiently. Amen. That's all I got to do is just sit back and let Yahweh work it all out. Just like I've seen the man of God do. How he showed me how to wait on Yahweh. Amen. That's what I'm doing, just waiting. Amen. Amen. Cause I was to say, time is on my side. My kids are growing up. Amen. They're, going, they're starting to see things that they didn't see when they were kids. Amen. Amen. Let's read. But ye are not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. We can't be. Amen. Amen. We can't be with unbelievers out there. No. Spirit already went forth touching on that. Yes. Amen. Amen. We, we, we are saints of Yahweh. Yes. Amen. Amen. Once I started finding myself with unbelievers, my mind started changing. Yes. Started becoming like them. Yes. We're supposed to be converting them, but they convert me. Yes. Amen. Because I'm not strong enough. Yes. I wasn't in Yahweh at the time. Yes. I, was, I was weak-minded. The devil just came in and started working in me because I let him. I started saying, well, it don't take all that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. The devil heard that. He came and sat right next to me. and said, I'll see you right after church. You coming with me. And I did. Amen. I had me blaming the church for everything. Amen. Everything. Things that didn't, it wasn't even happening to me, but I was blaming you because the devil was a full, full of lies. Amen. Had me seeing things that ain't really there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He's a deceiver. Yes, he is. How do you think you got this whole world deceived? They blind, walking out there blind. Amen. Don't know where they're going. It ain't up there. I know that for sure. Amen. They just walking. You want to be part of this world, you're going to burn with this world. Amen. 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 They got these stickers on their car, not of this world. Amen. Amen. They step out their car, they just as worldly as the un every ungodly person out there. They don't know how to set a difference. Now, without the apostles, they don't. Amen. That's the only way we're different because we have a true apostle in this way. Amen. And he has opened up our eyes. Helped us see clear what, what sin really was. Yes, man. Help me see my evil ways. The iniquities of my ways. Help me see myself. Amen. Save me from myself. Amen. And I'm so grateful. Yes. That's why I serve Yahweh like I do. That's why I love the man of God like I do. Yes, amen. 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 He saved me from hurting myself. Amen. Destroying myself. Amen. My family getting destroyed. Amen. That's what Yahweh saved me from. How many accidents I should have been dead in. Yahweh saved me in those. But I do thank Yahweh for the words that he's given unto me to say tonight. Amen. We have our beloved apostle. Let us all please stand and receive him by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. Welcome to be seated. Hallelujah. Good to be here tonight. Blessing to have AC. A little while we had to do without it, huh? But we didn't let that hinder us. We still came together. And, yes. And um, Yahweh love us when we think on it. Amen. Amen. That's right. And it's a blessing to be here. I want to thank Yahweh for the message that was spoken to us tonight. From my beloved Pastor Riddle. A young man, a young faithful man. And I had an opportunity to see this young man grow up in this way. And uh, I believe that he's for real. Yes. Hallelujah. And I thank Yahweh for your son. Hallelujah. 
Uh, I give honor to our beloved teacher, Pecan, as well. Oh, yeah. Hey, Pecan. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. yeah. Y'all have chosen each one of us and out of so many people and brought us into this, this light. And it's, it's still just as glorious to me. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Amen. Church is the best thing that ever happened to me. Yes. Sharing it with our, blood, uh, our brothers in Mexico, amen, that since the day that I come here, this, from this place is where I heard the truth. Yes, Lord. Truth set me free. Amen. amen. No longer walk in darkness. Hallelujah. Although I'm surrounded by darkness, yes. I no longer walk in it. Amen. It's not always easy. Some days a lot harder than others. Yes. We're only human. We're only human. Amen. But we're not justified to sin. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. So even when things are hard for us and it get very dark and you just can't see your way, mm-hmm. that's when you have to walk by faith. Yeah. Amen. So believe me, there would be times you wake up, you don't feel no spirit nowhere. That's right. And, it, and when you don't feel that spirit, you want to question everything. About this way, Amen. Amen. And everything about this way is good. Yes. Amen. Everything. It's yeah. been good to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I know it has. I wouldn't be the man that I am today if it wasn't for the church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be in love if it wasn't for the church. Amen. That's right. Even if I was in the world, I don't think it's a club in love that I would want to visit. <laughs> I'm not gonna drive all the way. <laughs> Dallas for work to visit a club in Lubbock <laughs> when there's plenty in my backyard. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. But yeah. I came here because I love the people. Amen. Amen. That's why I thank y'all with my wife. Yes, when Lord. Time for us to come. She had no problem. No problem. We didn't get into argument or nothing like that. Mm-mm. Didn't even have to pray about it either. Mm-mm. When you truly love something, you go all out the way for it. Yes, Lord. We saw how that our brothers and sisters needed us here. Yes, Lord. And we came by faith. Yes. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 <coughs> still have a few here with us. Still have the become. Amen. Still Thank hanging you, on in there. Yes, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. That's right. We're, ha- we're not on there. We're all hanging on in there. <laughs> hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Amen. Holding on. That's I'm right. going to run all the way. Yes. Amen. Amen. I said, I'm going to run all, all the, way. the way. Hallelujah. No, no quitting here. No. Been through, it, been through this before. Uh, amen. We've, mm-hmm. not, this is not the first time my wife and I packed up and moved. We, no. First time we did it when we moved to Leveland. Mm-hmm. Church was full. 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 Was it full? Full. Yeah. <laughs> hey, amen. Mm-hmm. Ooh, the, the choir stand was full. <laughs> That's right. Hey, amen. Yeah. But then a famine hit. Mm-hmm. And a famine blew in. Yes. <clears throat> and when it was all over with, it was no more like six people. Mm-hmm. Six people. Six. Out of all the people. That's right. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. No more about six. Five or six people. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's Amen. Right. We didn't get discouraged. We said, well, our work is through here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And amen. And we went on back to all of them. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Yes. We've been doing this kind of sacrifice, my Hallelujah. wife and I. And yeah. this time I have got, I've added some old people with me. <laughs> and I have a church here from all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. Amen. 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 There's more all of them people in the church here now than they just love it. Amen. <clears throat> amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and amen. And so I'm grateful. Yes, Lord. Um, this way is a suffering way. Yes, amen. 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 It's important that we remember that. Yeah. Every sacrifice you make, the sacrifice that we make in this way is not in vain. Amen. As long as you're doing what is right to do, Amen. then your sacrifice is not in vain. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In this way, we will sacrifice for others. Mm-hmm. Amen. And you can't, you can't, you can't uh, uh, establish your righteousness or your, your blessings upon what's not people stay in church or appreciate your sacrifice. Amen. Amen. You sacrifice because you do it out of love. Yes. Mm. That's right. Amen. That's why you do it. You don't, you don't do the thing for amen to receive glory and praise. Mm-hmm. 
Hallelujah. Father that loves his, his children, he sacrifices them that he go to work. Just that simple. Right. What he does. Amen. Amen. He don't Bro. think about payback. Mm -mm. Amen. A mother, amen, that love her ch children. Amen. She get up and she take care of her house That's right. out of love. Yes. She don't look for no payback. Amen. She understands uh, understand that's her responsibility amen. to do these things. Yes. And we serve the, the most high. Hallelujah. Amen. Then we give our life that others may have life. Yes, Lord. Amen. Had not done this, no doubt, Felix wouldn't be here today. Amen. His beautiful wife, where she at? She's in the back. Oh. Madeline, she wouldn't be here today. Amen. That's right. And Madeline number two. Hallelujah. I call her Hallelujah. <laughs> but Adali. Uh huh. Huh? Yeah. They wouldn't be here today. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So I want to look at it with tonight. Let's go ahead and turn to the book of uh, 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 Titus. Go to the book of Titus tonight. Amen. Amen. Titus, and, and I know we've been here a hundred times old. Mm -hmm. A hundred time old. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 And, and we have to go back. We have to go back. Amen. You know, when when Amen. we're not when we're not coming up to where we should be. Yes. Spirit calls us to go back. Amen. Sometimes folks say, "Is that all y'all know? That's all <laughs> you give us." <laughs> yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 And when you those that are growing in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Yeshua, they already passed the scripture. Amen. So it doesn't bother them. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Amen. But let's look at the scripture here tonight. Amen. Titus. Titus 1. Titus 2 and 1. 2 and 1. Amen. Now, Titus 2 and now, 1. Now, Paul is, is, Paul is writing to Titus. Titus was a young brother in church. Amen. Yes. So Paul is writing to Titus here. <clears throat> and why did Paul write to this young man? Because Amen. there was so much going on yes. in the church. Hallelujah. So sometimes we don't think about it, but, but brothers and sisters, let me tell y'all something. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you, what you see here, the early church went through the same problem. Amen. Amen. Yes. Don't you know what we experience today with the body? The early church had the same problem. Right. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Amen. I wish it was back in the days of the apostles. <laughs> It was, a, it was thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people in the church. <laughs> yeah, yeah. thousands thousands one right me. Uh -uh. Departed. Now you got a problem with six people. <laughs> That's right. Can't stay in spirit when six. Hey, man. Hey, man. Six people in the church and three right, three right and three wrong. Hey, man. Uh -huh. How are you going to deal with thousands of them? <laughs> if you right. can let one cause you to, to, to go, go astray. Mm -hmm. what, can you imagine what you do if a thousand was going to stray high? What kind of impact that's going to have on you? Amen. Right. Y'all understand this here? Yes. Yeah. You see, I have this understanding. So you may say, well, Apostle, what keep you going? What keep me encouraged? Because I know ain't nothing new under the sun. Amen. I know that what I'm experiencing, the Apostle, they experienced themselves. Mm -hmm. Early church experienced it. Yes. Yeah. That's why you think Yeshua spoke about the tares, the wheat and the tares. Mm -hmm. Why do you think he spoke about the wise man and the foolish man? Amen. 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 Because you're going to always have wise men. You're going to always have foolish. Amen. Amen. Always be. But the Lord said, let them grow together. Let them grow together. And you got to learn to stay in the spirit. That's right. Because you see someone going astray, that shouldn't, that shouldn't have no impact on you. As a matter of fact, it should cause you to go down on your knees and pray. Amen. And, and not, not, not talk about it and criticize That's it. right. Yes, Lord. One thing about it, I don't care how wrong you are, I always treat you right. Yes, always. Hmm? Yes. Amen. Madeline, we, she learned tonight, she said that I, I judge no man. Mm -hmm. But if I do judge, <laughs> my judgment is true. Amen. He just didn't spend his time going around, you wrong, look, just looking at everybody wrong and looking at them all funny and stuff like that. No, mm -hmm. she would never change. Amen. He knew never. that he was the light of the world. Mm -hmm. It was important that he kept the right mind. Amen. To show us, because we're going to have to deal with the same thing. That's Amen. People get weak. Amen. On this journey. Yes, Lord. Including ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we have the scripture here. Yes. For a reason. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's look at it. God know we've been over a thousand times. Listen, <laughs> I ain't heard it no thousand times. That's why y'all got to be patient. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Madeline said, I ain't, I ain't heard no thousand times. Uh -huh. Some of y'all think, there we go again, Titus. But <laughs> Madeline, and what about, uh, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me. Adala, Adaya, Adala, Adali, yeah, Adali. <laughs> yeah. This is probably the first time she's going to hear this mess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, now, we need to love her better than that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen? Yes. Now, watch the word it reads. Titus now, 2 and 1. Now, Paul writing to Titus for a reason. It is written. There was so much going on yes. in the church. Amen. But Paul needed Titus to be strong. Yes. Paul, Paul was depending on that young man. Amen. To stand up and be strong. Amen. Amen. When he wasn't around, he needed someone to stand up and be strong when he was wasn't in the presence of the people. That's right. And so he's teaching this young man how to, how to, how to walk and how to let his light shine, how to be, how to be a blessing to those that are there. Yes, Lord. Now watch what he say here now. But speak thou the things. Now, Titus, now just, now your eyes don't see some stuff. You can't go talking crazy now. Yes. Now I know how we do. <laughs> I, I see something. Mm -hmm. Don't like it. That ain't right. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yes. So when we open our mouth, it's important that we speak right. Which becomes sound doctrine. So you speak those things that we teach. Amen. Amen. That becomes sound doctrine. That the age man And the be reason sober. why you got to do this, for, uh, Timothy, I know you are, but even age people got problems. Amen. Yeah, Ella Cruz, y'all think Ella Cruz don't have no problem? Yes, he do. <laughs> y'all don't think Mother uh, Mary don't have no issues? Mm -hmm. well, Mother Tori, she's just so quiet. Uh, but don't be on time to pick up at, at a half. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you think the message is only for young people? No. All is. Hey, mom. Yes. <laughs> the devil is no respected person. No, he's not. He wants all. all. He wants the old ones. <laughs> he wants the young ones. Oh, hey, mom. And Amen. we all have to fight him. Amen. We got to fight him. Amen. Hey, mom. The only thing gonna help us is sound doctrine. Yeah. Amen. Can't, can't come before you with stuff gonna make you feel good. Mm -mm. Amen. 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 I gotta. Amen. When I open my mouth, tighter when you open your mouth. Amen. Make sure you're giving the people what they need. Amen. You're not there to be nobody's friend. You gotta, That's right. Amen. You gotta yes. point out. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta speak these things. Which becomes sound doctrine. And when you do something, eight people get upset with you. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Right. Amen. When my mother, brother, when she first met me, what did she say? Her, her brother went and said, you ought to, are we going to, uh, the man of God is coming down here from the altar, and it, God is with him. And mm -hmm. she got all excited and everything. Yeah. Then when she saw the little 24-year-old boy step out the car, that boy ain't got nothing to teach me. Said, that boy ain't got nothing to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking me had gray hair <laughs> with a cane. <laughs> and, and bark when I preach, ruff, <laughs> ruff. Ah, him. <laughs> That's what you expect. No, uh, didn't get that. Didn't get it. You know what? That little boy told her everything she had to do to be saved, too. Uh, hey, Mom. And oh, you know yeah. what? She did it. Oh, yeah. So just because you're young, huh? you're young, don't let that get in your way. Don't let no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make sure you speak those things that become sound doctrine. Amen. Because aged people also got problems. That's hey, right. Mom. Granny is so sweet. Yeah, she's sweet. Do you make her mad? <laughs> no one. <laughs> Amen. Everybody happy to be saying, they don't know Granny like I do. <laughs> yeah, they don't live with her. Granny cusses and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she'll feed little birds, but she'll cuss you out, though. Oh, yeah. You walk in her yard. <laughs> you walk in her yard, she'll cuss you out. Hey, Mom. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah, she tell Granny, hey, Granny, you got any cookies? She'll say, no. Let's share bread, take some cookies out and give it to them birds. Just <laughs> <laughs> feed them birds. That's right. That's too tomato. So, Granny ain't got enough scripture in her to understand that God feed them. She don't have to do that. God does all that. <laughs> Amen. Yes, He does. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and Granny loves all them songs that sing about birds, that talk about birds. <laughs> Yes. Amen. Amen. That the age man be sober. How? Be, be sober. Because, amen, when you get old, you, know, you start getting older, you start losing, you know, patience. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you, you, I'll tell you what, if you don't work on your patient while you're young, you're going to be in trouble when you get old. Amen. Amen. More so. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. Come on, your nerves. Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. Amen, your nerves. <laughs> Normally you hear that out of the mouth of old people. You're getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they establish that talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, y'all probably heard some of that here. Amen. Hmm? On my we got to say, no, aged men have to be sober-minded. Be sober. They got to be sober. Yeah. Because people deal, Satan is after everyone. Amen. Satan is after your sons and daughters. Y'all aged people, y'all hear me talking? Amen. Satan is after your sons and daughters. Amen. Hmm? Hallelujah. Amen. You have to be sober-minded. Amen. And you have to be what? Grave. Grave. You have to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, you can't be all over the place. You got to be grave. Yes. Yes. Temperate. You got to be how? Temperate. temperate. You got to be temperate. Yes. Sound and faith. Can't lose your cool. You got to be temperate. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then you got to be sound in what we believe. In faith. You heard the Bible talking? Yes. Sound in what we believe. Amen. It says faith. It's talking about what it says faith. It's talking about what we believe here. That's right. You got to be sound in that because if you're not sound in it, as an aged person, you can't help nobody. Amen. They won't listen to you if you're not sound-minded. That's, that's right. Even as an aged man, you can't walk in that kind of way and expect people that's going to hear you. Amen. Hmm? Yeah. You got to walk a certain way. The older Amen. I get, the more sound I have to become. Amen. 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 Sound in what we believe. Amen. Someone come to you as an aged man about what we believe, you, are, you should be able to sit them down and explain to them exactly what we teach. Amen. Amen. Not another doctrine. Mm -mm. You're not going to give them your opinion about nothing. Right? right. Yeah. We sound in the faith. Amen. Each of you, if, you, if, if, the, if, if the world abides, you get, for you, uh, 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 so that you can become an aged person, mm -hmm. and you're still in church, you got to be sound in the faith. Amen. Because amen. amen. That's right. There was a time when I first come in this way. I was in my 20s. I'm 62 years old. Mm -hmm. People like these of them, they catch me now. Mm -hmm. See, when I first met her, I was 16 years old. And you mm -hmm. 40 what? 47. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, look back there. Look back there. Look, 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 look at a dolly. That's what, yeah, <laughs> you long time ago. What, like 30, 20 some years ago? Uh, yep. Even Justine scratching her head. She's getting up there too. She, she, yeah, scratching her head. Just ain't looking in front of you. Uh huh. That's that. We, uh, Used to be. The younger generation coming in. I remember them pecan kids. They were a little old bitty thing when I first met them. Mm -hmm. in, in the kitchen, talking about going down. Yeah, she was named. <laughs> then they act like they baptized each other. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> mother, mother tourist. So, uh, we was in our 20s when we first met. I've been doing her the longest mm -hmm. in my 20s. I didn't always look like this, and she didn't always look like that. Y'all young people, laugh if you want to. You go, that's what you're going to look like. Amen. you look just like us. Look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? <laughs> so it's important that I age, amen, the age man. Be sober. Be sober. Grave. Be grave. Temperate. Temperate. Sound in faith. Sound in what we believe. Sound in charity. And sound in what? In charity. We got to show that we can, and that's important we be sound as age, because we, like I said, we lose, we lose our patient. Uh-huh. We throw a pinch in that child. <laughs> right, they, they doing something, you go, you know, you, you, know, you, you, you spank them, but don't pinch them. Right. <laughs> don't mean say. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Amen. Amen. Sit down. No, you don't do that. Uh-uh. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Some of you you're getting up in the age, you think about pinching, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, spirit, amen. Say, Hallelujah. <laughs> it's preparing, preparing you. Yes, Lord. No, come on now. Sound in charity. Sound in charity. Sound in patience. Sound in patience. The, the aged women, women and likewise. And not only the aged men, but the aged women also. That they be in behavior and, as and, becometh and, and holiness. Look how, look how the Bible talked about the aged woman. Mm -hmm. Because when we get aged, as, 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 uh, as the aged women, we get older. When you get older, I say we, when you get older. <laughs> Y'all change it. 
Uh -huh. Don't you change? You, you, should, you start behaving yourself in the way you shouldn't be behaving. Yeah. It was people, people there. Now, she's too old to be acting like that. <laughs> Have you ever heard that saying? Amen. Yeah. Now, she's just too old to be acting too like old. that. Yeah. Out there kicking sand. Yeah. Act your age. <laughs> they, huh? they say act your act age. Your age. <laughs> so you go, hey man, yeah. you, 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 as an aged woman, you, you not careful. You start behaving yourself the way you shouldn't be behaving. Amen. Too old to be in church, mama. <laughs> mm. Yeah, she behave herself as becometh holiness. As becoming how old? Holiness. Why is that so important? Because the younger women gonna have to follow you. Amen. Yes, you, you teach the younger women. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why is it important? Because you teach the, the young men. Yes. I'll tell y'all one thing. These young people here, the church, this generation we're living in, they need us older people. These aged, aged brothers and sisters or Amen. fathers and mothers in this way to be strong. You Amen. can look around and see how much is needed. Amen. You're on the way to church today, I got pulled over by the police. I can pull over too. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. I was so excited about church and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't see him. I didn't realize him. Pulled me over. As soon as I was said, hey, yeah. As soon as I saw him, I just, I just pulled it over. <laughs> he could have walked to the car. Where he parked at. <laughs> so uh -huh. he, he come over. He said, you know why I stopped you? I said, yes, sir. Gave him my license. <laughs> he said, I'm Officer Souls. I said, I know who you are. You know me? I said, yes. You're an officer that's doing his job. <laughs> 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 he thought I personally had known him. <laughs> went, oh, you know, a little bit of fella, too. A little bit. Because, you know, when he walked over the car, I, I went like this. <laughs> well, he was a little bit of thing down there. He said, I'm off of so and so. I said, Yes, I know who you are. He said, Oh, you know me? I said, Yes, you're an officer doing his job, doing what you're supposed to do. Stop <laughs> people like me mm -hmm. who break the law. <laughs> he go, Just look. And what did he say, wife? He said, Where are you on your way to? I said, The church. He said, Here, here, here. He said, This city need, 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 need much prayer. <laughs> here, here, here. You go right on. This city needs right. much prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. That's different between me and I get pulled over and you get pulled over. <laughs> yeah. No resistance. That's right. Amen. <laughs> oh, y'all always with them. Yeah. Amen. Who serve him. Amen. This is what the Bible meant when it says Yahweh is our protector. That's right. He protects us. Looked at, looked at my wife with her mind as a pair on. Looked at me. You, and you wonder why we tell you to dress the way you're supposed to dress? Amen. Yeah. I'm going to treat you like a thug. Now you're mad talking about you ain't got no money. <laughs> you paid for the ticket. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. But that obedience is better than sacrifice. sacrifice. Yeah. He looked at my wife and looked at me. Gave me back my, my driver license and said, this city need, need, need much prayer. Mm -hmm. Here, Amen. give you ticket so you pray. Yeah. You don't think my wife and I cut a dance in that car? Uh-huh. You don't think we praise y'all? Wait, get your hand up. Yeah. Uh, that happened to me a couple of months ago, too, Pastor. Uh, me Let me hear wife, that testimony. <clears throat> me and my wife were coming from, from, from home on Marsha Sharp <clears throat> and the kids. But uh, I think, yeah, we, we were dressed in our modest apparel, too. He, he, pulled, he pulled us over, so I pulled off on the side, you know. I didn't want him to be fr afraid of the traffic, so I yeah. got off, <clears throat> put on the side. Well, you got that testimony from somebody. Uh, yeah. I got off on the side, and he came to his sister, Mrs. Uh, Tell it, teacher. Uh, where y'all going? I was like, we're, we're headed to church. First, he said, you know why I pulled you over? Yes, sir. Uh, I lost, I lost, uh, I didn't pay attention. I was excited to get to church as well. He's like, uh, where y'all going? I said, we're going to church. He, he saw Sister Misty with the Bibles. She had the Bibles under her. And, and, and uh, he just, uh, I gave him my license as well. I had, I have one of those now. You know. And <laughs> <laughs> where you get that from? From, from the church. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, you know. So I uh, gave it to him, and and 
you know, he asked where you're going, I'm going to church. And he's, uh, amen, here you go. And I uh, didn't give me no ticket either. I came, I'm telling you, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He said, I'm telling you, I'm church, best thing for anybody. Best thing. want to be blessed, so just, mm-hmm. all right, you age people, you got to act right, though. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, read. Watch the, the word. aged women likewise. Now, and now, and now aged women likewise. That they be in behavior that you as becoming behave holiness. That you behave yourself as becoming holiness. Not false behave accusers. Behave yourself. Y'all hear the Bible talking? Amen. Y'all aged women in here? In behavior. You know, we, got, we got some young women. Don't, the aged women, you know, you want to behave yourself in a way. As becoming As being holiness. a mother in this yeah. way. You know, these young sisters in here, and you young, you know, they need guidance. Mm-hmm. They, don't, they don't know how to be mothers. They don't know how to be mothers. Amen. So your job to teach them how to be mothers. Hallelujah. Young men don't know how to be fathers. What the yeah. age men for? Amen. We're not so minded. We don't get them to go to work. How are we going to make him get them to go to work? Amen. How are you <laughs> going to talk to a young man? How he should work if you can't even use yourself for an example? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all hear the Bible talking here? Yeah. That's why it's important that us age in here, mm-hmm. that we be, be strong and be examples in here. That's Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. So that when you do, amen, you sit down with some correction, you can use yourself for an example. That's right. Because they, they say, so, so, some people think you've always been old. Because <laughs> I thought young people think, they don't think right. They amen. Think you've always been old. Born old. We call, call we say, uh, Mother, uh, 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 um, Mother Mary. <laughs> don't mean we call her Mother Mary when she was 16. When she was 21, she wasn't no Mother Mary. No one called her Mother Mary at that time. Uh-uh. Hey, man, Mother Washington. Wasn't that, they, but she wasn't no Mother Washington 20, 30 year, uh, uh, years ago. She was Sister Washington. <coughs> right. Hey, you don't know Ella Jimmy uh, 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 50 years ago. <laughs> Would have been Brother Jimmy. That's right. Right? Yeah. And so that means we have some experience about life. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, up to us to make sure we teach. Right. Know? Even in church. I, all y'all age women are supposed to be involved with these young sisters in church. Mm-hmm. It's more than just, you know, and I, and I know when, um, when it was time for Madeline and I to go in the back to do our, our ministry work in Mexico, mm-hmm. uh, two of the sisters, uh, Mother Washington, but she had a baby, little old Felix Harvey, and was sitting over there. <laughs> Amen. And, yeah. and so I went and tapped on the shoulder, and 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 the sister, ah, Dolly, ah, Dolly wasn't. I don't think she was here yet. Uh-uh. And so uh, my wife turned and said, "Bring uh, Felix Harvey to me." <laughs> and 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 and, uh, and uh, Justine said, "Bring Felix Harvey to me." Uh-huh. See, uh, it, it, all mothers are supposed to be involved in this kind of stuff. Amen. Amen. Yeah. The other day when uh, uh, I saw uh, Madison over with her son with that pen. It's bad. That's dangerous. See, that's mm-hmm. That shouldn't be. The mother yeah. sees that stuff like, baby, don't let, don't, don't, don't give that to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm telling you, young people don't know how to be mothers. You got to be taught how to be mothers. Amen. That's why the Bible, when it says, except you be born, born again, again. that means everything you learn in the world, you got to get rid of it because it's not, it's not good. Amen. You got to be born again. You got to be taught everything, everything about life and about godliness. Amen. Amen. And the aged men and women in, in the church are the one going to be doing all the teaching. Mm-hmm. And everybody got to be involved in all of that. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. She is a wild and everything. Mother, uh, mother Washington not the only mother in church. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all listen to me. Yes, Lord. Watch the word, read it. The aged women likewise, uh-huh. that they be in behavior as becometh be, holiness. Yes, sir, become not holiness. Not false, false accusers. Man, we, no, 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 remember what we said about that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, as a woman, you ain't got nothing to do. House is clean. <laughs> Food is cooked. Uh-huh. Y'all already seen all the biblical movies. All of them. All of them. One you ran day. out of that. One day. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting there. You don't work no more. <laughs> Uh-huh. Make that sister pop up, her face pop up in your mind. Huh? Hallelujah. They just make up some stuff. <laughs> yes, Lord. Amen. That's in the Bible for a reason. Amen. Not false accusers. Age women will falsely, they, they just weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, some of y'all says, I don't want to get old. <laughs> 
It's all right to get old, just don't be lying on folk. <laughs> if you start now, when you get there, when you get old, you'll be all ready. Really. Yeah, you'll be prepared. Me for the mouth of you. So you gotta stop false, you gotta say you gotta start now. Yeah. Stop false accusing people of stuff. Yeah. Amen. You gotta be able to, when you look at someone you don't like them, to deal with that inwardly. Mm -hmm. And keep the mouth quiet. You don't talk about stuff you don't understand. Amen. I don't care if a brother says it's going to be wrong with two left shoes, but if you don't know what's going on, you right. be quiet. Amen. Because if you don't know what's going on, how can you help them if you don't know what's going on? Right. And how can you help them when you won't even go and cry? Mm -hmm. Instead of going to the person that, that, that need help, you, you're talking to other, other folks and what they're doing, giving you their opinion. Amen. Right. Yeah, so age women, you will lie. Not you false accuse. False accuse people. Paul had in his time. Amen. <laughs> yes, he did. You know, you always prove yourself. Just go ask some young people. If they, have, if they have, ever believe that you false accusing them, they'll tell you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It didn't happen like that. <laughs> she wasn't even there. Yes, Lord. <laughs> mm. Yes, Lord. Not false accuser. Not giving too much wine. Oh, that's the problem sometimes. <laughs> too much wine. That mad dog 2020 made him mad. Hallelujah. The problem that what Paul was having in his day, mm -hmm. when old women was drinking too much wine. Too much wine. <laughs> then they started seeing stuff. <laughs> Y'all yeah. know you that been had alcohol, you had problem with alcohol, you seen stuff. Let it all. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yep. And you seen stuff that wasn't there. Mm -hmm. We know we, we that ever had alcohol, you know. <laughs> yeah. Who's yeah. never been drunk before? Who has been drunk? Who have? Have been drunk before. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Didn't let anybody know on the camera. There ain't nobody drinking here. I was just <laughs> ba baby pacified rolled up here. <laughs> it wasn't a bottle of liquor, nothing like that. It was a baby pacified. Just let anybody know on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, false accusing the church. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> get too much of the alcohol and you don't act right, right? That's Amen. right. Yep. You can drink wine. Mm -hmm. Age women, but not too much. Amen. Nothing wrong drinking a little wine. Right. Had a hard day. Mm -hmm. You know, you dealt with ten sisters and they got on your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> so you drank a little, a little wine just to kind of calm yourself down. A little wine. A little wine. A little wine. <laughs> Paul told Timothy, you know, drink a little wine for your stomach sake you. and your often infirmities. <laughs> And you often infirmities. Uh huh. Yeah, sister may cause you. I had to go drink a little wine. You had to get through talking to her. But don't drink too much that you're gonna phone call everybody up and tell everybody <laughs> what she did. Amen. <laughs> How you really feel? Amen. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. This is life. This is reality. Amen. So as I can't see the church like this when you fooling yourself because we're dealing with flesh. Dealing with the devil himself. Mm -hmm. I don't know what runs through your mind when y'all read this Bible, but I look at reality. Amen. The reality of things. You drank too much wine, this is what happened to you. Amen. So the spirit's never against drinking, right? Never. The Bible said, be not drunk with wine. It didn't say you can't drink no wine. It said, be not, not drunk, drunk with wine. Not that you can't drink it. Mm -hmm. But remember, you're supposed to be temperate. Amen. Yeah. Mm. That's right. If you can't be tempered, you don't even need it in your house. Just you that simple. Amen. You ain't got enough sense on that. Amen. Get a wine glass. Uh -huh. Not a mug. I said a wine glass. That's why they call it wine glass. <laughs> yeah. Some folks are so, amen, they love being right by the edge. So they go to the, to the store looking for the biggest wine glass. The biggest one. <laughs> Somebody put a picture, just drop one over there by the wine glass because they didn't want to take it back. Uh-huh. Where they got it at. And you look and went over to the wine glass area and see that big picture there. 
No, that's a wine glass. It's over and all. You know how sometimes you go to the store, you don't want something just lay it down? Uh-huh. Yeah. They don't blow on there. Oh, yeah. Too much wine. Too much wine. Too much wine. It says, amen. Holla, amen. Not, yeah, I heard the Bible here talking not to you. Amen. Too much and, and that's not only to, to, for the women, age women, but the age men too. And, amen. And young men and, 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 and young women as well. Amen. Not too much of this not stuff. Not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. Not too much of this stuff. Amen. That's right. And saying, call one of oh, the old. sister got a hand up. I said, the longest hallelujah I ever seen. Hold on one second. I think he's going to give you the, give you a mic. Oh, there you go. There, that's why I'm passing on back to her. Amen. Um, I thank Yahweh on that wise as far as the drinking because um, right, well, I had two DWIs and drinking it. Mad Dog was one of my favorites or what have you. <laughs> um, but knowing that we can drink, amen to that. But with me, I know myself. Yes. Even just a little bit for me, yes. I'm going to want more of it because I feel like I'm just a waste of time or a tease for me. Yes. So yeah. instead of just drinking at all, I just don't drink because I know myself. Amen. I can Amen. get out of control. And you're supposed to know yourself. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, that's, man, you're supposed to know yourself. You're supposed to know yourself. Amen. And the Bible said, that Paul said, all things are lawful unto me, all but everything don't edify. edify. Amen. Even all things are lawful, but it's, don't, it's not expedient. Amen. It don't just mean just because it's not wrong don't mean it's good for me to have it. Amen. Amen. I know me. You gotta save yourself. Amen. Amen. Maybe Elder have no problem. You go in and drink one one glass of wine. He's okay. You over here, you see him doing it. <laughs> you ain't got enough sense mm -hmm. to know what one is. Yeah. Right. When it comes to that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to save yourself. Amen. Amen. That's Become right. sin to you because yeah. you won't do the right thing with it. Amen. Amen. That's right. So she, so she speaks she speak for herself. Mm -hmm. She's not the only one got a problem drinking, but she don't want to raise her hand. That's right. Because she's fighting a good fight of faith. Yeah. Amen. She's, 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 she's sharing with us how she deals with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said since 2020. Uh-huh. That means she been she kept her, been keeping herself for the last three years. Amen. And that's a good thing. That's a testimony. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Not giving too much wine. Teachers of good and things. And age women, your job is to teach good things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That they may teach the young and, and women to what, be sober. Y'all young sisters, y'all listen to this here? So if an age woman come to y'all, mm -hmm. listen to them. Because y'all not sober. It, 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 it said it for a reason. Amen. To teach the young women to be what? So It's the reason why that's in your book. Amen. Amen. You can't say that's all other sisters of self mean. Ain't no Bible for that. That's ain't no Bible for that. Hallelujah. Are you a young woman? Right. Then it's for you. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Why you think kids end up in the hospital? Babies drown in swimming pools and all that kind of stuff. You say, well, didn't put the medicine up. Get them. Yeah. Amen. I was growing up, my mom and them, they didn't put that weed and, and alcohol, they didn't put that stuff up. Mm -mm. I was popping pills as a kid. I didn't know no better. I thought it was candy. I thought it was M&M's. Mm -hmm. My best friend almost died. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, quiet isn't he? Amen. Hey, man. I need, I need to finish, man. I ain't gonna never get through. <laughs> yeah, I keep on reading. I saw, I saw that big old hand. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be from them pills. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I need to get through because I want to go. I got 20 minutes. That they may teach the young women to be sober. Oh, are y'all listening to me? Amen. Yeah. Looking at the news that day, uh, uh, a baby, what, four years old? In the swimming pool at an at a apartment complex. Lucky somebody came by, jumped the fence, and was able to jump in to get the baby out of, out of the water. Then it come the parents running out the house, hollering and screaming. Mm -hmm. How did a child get out the house? Number one. Right. See that all the time. Mm. Amen. You don't know how to be mothers. 
You yeah. have to be taught. Amen. Yeah. And don't get no attitude when one come talk to you. That's going to say, see, I said before, when we say Yahweh is our protector, well, this is how he's protecting you. Amen. This is how right. he's going to protect you. Amen. Because the aged women are going to teach you how to be a mother. Amen. Aged men are going to teach you how to be a father. On right. uh, more hands. I know you, it's burning. <laughs> I got 20 minutes. Unless y'all let me stay here at, 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 at 10 o'clock tonight. They ain't getting no amen from nobody. So, <laughs> I mean, I can go on a midnight, though, really, on this kind of topic. Uh, oh, yeah. But I love it. Ain't going to do you like that. Uh, amen. You remember them days, Deezer? I go on, go on to midnight. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, amen. <laughs> yeah, all y'all listen to me, brother? Yes, amen. Lord. Age women teach them good, and this is what you're gonna teach. That they may teach the young teach women the to, young be sober, to, how? to be sober. To be sober. Young women got to be sober minded. Yeah. Amen. You that got babies, especially got children. Yeah. You got to be sober minded with your child at the house. Amen. You can't be sleeping while that child up. Mm mm. Can't. Right. Can't. That's how kids end up outside in the swimming pool. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. And all sorts of stuff. You 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 gonna sleep when that child sleep. You can't sleep when that when uh, when uh, while the child's away. You can't do that. Can't do it. Yeah. Leave him on the bed. You say what? Then leave him on the bed. Leave, leave him, him on the bed and all that kind of stuff. Fall off. They gonna fall. They'll fall off. Amen. Amen. You can't do it. Amen. When you do things like that. You know what you do? You provoke God. Amen. So now you want prayer. Mm -hmm. Something that could have been avoided. Right. If you just had listened to those mothers in the church. Amen. That was giving you some instruction. That's right. You don't know how to be no mom. Yes. You don't. You got to be born again. Be Amen. Taught. That's right. Yes, Lord. It always happens. Yes. You got to be taught how to be mothers. Amen. Amen. To be what? To be sober. To be sober. To love their husbands. To what? To gotta love be, their husbands. Yeah, you got to be taught how to love them. Amen. Love them. Amen. Amen. Yes. That means being what God wants you to be as a wife. Uh huh. Your job to make sure his food at the house, Amen. his clothes clean. Yes. Amen. See, brother, come in here, they suit all wrinkled and stuff. That tells me the wife is not doing her job. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All wrinkled up. Mm -hmm. Like they just got it right out the dirty clothes and put it on. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's loving your husband. My wife, she take care of me. Me too. I say I mine. She take care of me. I don't have to worry about nothing. She take care of me. Amen. Oh yeah. Yeah, the wife. I don't like nothing. Mm -hmm. Bible comes is fulfilled. When men see me at the gate, they say that man is blessed. Amen. I ain't got no ring around the collar. Mm -mm. <laughs> she takes right. the rings out. Amen. Yes, she does. Amen. Hmm? Amen. She take care of me. She, yes, she, Lord. I, she, my wife makes sure I have everything I need. Yeah. When the time me to go to Mexico, she packs it. Make sure she makes sure I have everything I need. Amen. Amen. Everything. Yes. She thinks on me. Amen. She think on what I'm gonna need in Mexico. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get up, and, baby. You want some breakfast? She asked me. She won't go cook no breakfast. She asked me, "Do I want breakfast?" Cause sometimes I don't want no breakfast, but she asked. Amen. Then she asked me what I want. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why y'all? We gotta choose the hardest stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know how long it takes me to have to make that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why you just can't eat no cereal like most people? <laughs> yeah, bowl of cereal, like most people. Well, I'm not like most people. I'm a real man. Amen. I leave them Captain Crunch for them kids. I'm not going to them kids' Fruit Loops. <laughs> uh, amen. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm, no, no, don't get me wrong. I do eat, eat cereal now. <laughs> I will eat me a bowl of Raisin Bran. I will do that. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm just talking about for what my wife do for me. Yeah. She take care of me. Amen. I don't like nothing. I'm not lying to y'all tonight mm. to make my family look good. 
the Lord. I'm telling you the truth. My wife takes care of me. Amen. Amen. She put my clothes in the cleaner that need to go in the cleaner. Oh, yeah. She makes sure I have a, amen, I don't keep that same toothbrush for the, for the, for the, for the next two years. <laughs> right. Yeah, she even changed my toothbrush. That's enough with that toothbrush. Yeah. Uh-huh. She changed yeah, She gave me another toothbrush. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Amen. New on the clothes. Mm-hmm. Okay, they got some things got holes in them. They worn out. <laughs> it's your job to get your husband some new ones when they worn out. Then you make him face man when you walk by. <laughs> well, you put him, you get, get him something that's going to look right. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yeah. Amen? That's right. Y'all ain't been talking wives? Yeah. Y'all young wives, y'all ain't been talking? That's what you're supposed to do with your husband. Amen. To love your husband. To love their husband. You never get in an argument with him. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Yes. You never, I don't care how wrong he is, don't get in an argument with him. Amen. If, if he's doing something he shouldn't be doing, that's what the pastors are for. Go talk to the pastor about your husband. Amen. And let him deal with your husband. Mm-hmm. But not you. You don't get in an argument with him. Amen. Because the word teaches you don't do that, right? That's right. I would say, Sarah obeyed her husband, calling Amen. him Lord. Amen. Wife, what would what, you call me? Who you, what'd you call me? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> I said, Sarah obeyed her husband, called him Lord. You said, you said nickname? What did you nickname? nickname? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm referring to what's, uh, my Lord, okay. There you go. About, okay, now, but now what you call me, though? Junior, that's what you call me. Junior. Junior. Darn it. No, she don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> And she always come in, baby, you need anything? Mm-hmm. Don't cry tired she is, how sick she is. She take, she take care of me, I'm telling you, she, even when she's sick, she Amen. think on me. Yeah. I have to tell the baby, oh, you go ahead and lay down, I'll take care of you. Mm-hmm. I'll I cook, I, I clean, I do. Hey, hey, hallelujah. Yeah. We, we get to the husband in a minute. Amen. Okay, but that's, you know, but that's what I do. Mm-hmm. This, amen. Yes. Come on, read. To love their husband. To love their husband. To love their children. What? 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 To love now, their children. Now, y'all young people don't know how to love y'all children. Y'all, y'all, y'all think y'all do, but y'all don't. Mm-hmm. If if we ain't taught you, you don't know how. Amen. Because you right. spit them out. <laughs> don't mean you know how to love them. That's right. Hallelujah. Some of these kids like toys to you. That's it. Mm. They just cute. You got to be more than that. Be more Amen. Than that. You got to love them. It's supposed to be their protector. Amen. That's right. No harm don't come to them. That's, it's in your hand. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all sleep like a stone, right? When a thunderstorm will come through your house, you won't even hear it. Amen. So you know that baby don't need to be on your lap. Don't need to be. If you don't even know yourself. That you amen how hard you sleep. Mm-hmm. Right. Some people, hey, man, this is serious. You're telling me that uh, uh, someone had told her that she, she sleep dead, which <laughs> means that when she sleeps, she don't hear nothing. nothing. A tornado come down and try to take a roof off she sees she <laughs> So she's out. She don't hear nothing. Uh-huh. Some y'all, some people sleep hard like that. Amen. You, you just sleep like you can't sleep with no baby on your lap. Amen. Sure can't. Amen. 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 Mm-mm. Hmm? Amen. Amen. That's right. You gotta love your children better than that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's better for your baby to sleep on the floor than sleeping in that bed and you walk out the room and leave that child in that bed. Amen. Uh-huh. What happened? That baby fall off and hit his head. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna come running to the church. You're gonna come running to the preacher. Ain't nothing we can do because you didn't do what you're supposed to have done. Now you know. Then you put yourself in a position that God ain't. How did God allow this to happen? He, I, we prayed and he, he didn't save my son. He didn't save my daughter. Mm. You did that. You did that. Amen, amen. Yeah. Now there is no more God. There is no God. Mm. How, how many people see they don't even believe in God no more? Right. Because of stuff like that. Uh-huh. Amen. It's their own doing. It's their own doing. That's right. Yes, Lord. Y'all, we bless you with a child. It's your job to take care of that take baby. Take care of it. Oh, yeah. Keep that child safe. Oh, yeah. Amen. 
and listen to the wisdom and counsel of the age, mm -hmm. men and women in the church. Yeah. You won't be the one at the amen in the, in the emergency room. Amen. Right. Hmm? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Many people go to the grocery store and leave their kids in the car. I, I, I don't understand in that. In the car. I had three kids. I ain't never, ever put my child in a car, ever. Uh -uh. Went anywhere and forgot they wasn't back there. Oh, no. I'm always looking through the mirror looking at them. Oh. While I'm driving, I'm looking at them. Mm -hmm. Leave them in the car. Running How can you them. forget your child in the back seat? How is that possible? You put them there. How is that ever possible? I mean, a baby died in a car. Many. Many. Because their parents left them in the seat. They went into the day, man, then went shopping in the store. Two hours. Out window Two up. Hours. Amen. Inside the car is 123 degrees. Okay. All he thinking about them cowboy boots. Mm -hmm. And she thinking about that cowboy hat. Because they're going to a club. Right. Amen. Finally walk outside. Police, ambulance, fire truck. Yep. Dead baby. Cooked. Window shattered. Say what? So they bust out windows too. I can't, I, I can't even imagine that. Hmm? Can't. Amen. I'm always looking at my even my grandbabies. I'm always looking back there, talking oh, yeah. to them. Amen. I, I don't understand how how that possible. Mm -hmm. Right. Are y'all getting this? Yeah. Amen. 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 That ain't no love. That's not. I said that's not no love there. Amen. 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 Not at all. We'll get our amen, hallelujah. Amen. amen. Even the right of the day, if our kids, we put our kids on a couch or something like that, we put pillows. Amen. To keep them from rolling off. Right. And then we put pillows on the floor in case they do roll off. In case they do. Yeah. That's, that's, that's thinking, see, that's, that's protecting that child. Amen. amen. I remember I come home, Carrie be having a little harvest on the hip, she'll put a paddle on the floor. And she's going to be in that kitchen cooking because she got to cook. Yes. She bring them right in the living room. She put a pallet on that floor and put that baby on that pallet. Mm -hmm. If it ain't got a bed for the, put the baby in, a baby bed, not your bed. I said a baby bed. Baby That's baby. why they call it baby bed. You can't, you don't supposed to be in it though. <laughs> but it's supposed to be for that child. Yeah, rails you got rails on it. Keep that child from rolling. Mm -hmm. Rolling off. Right. Go to the cemetery. Go look out there. You see, hey man, those tombstones. Yeah. Baby tombstone because Parents not loving the children like they're supposed to love the children. Right. Amen. And it's too late when they're when they, when they gone. Too late. Because you wouldn't take heed. Right. And you know what? It take both father and mother. Amen. So I love my child. Amen. When Harvey, he was our first born, I did. I was like, with all three of my children. They couldn't even, amen, make a grunt. Uh -uh. I'd be out there, bed. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> right. And we had baby bed. Yeah. We had Harvey in his own room, raging in the room at the top, yeah. like little Felix back there. Because yeah. some of them jump, they can jump right, do that, jump right out that thing. Oh yeah, climb out. <laughs> you, yeah, that's why, hey, man. Sometimes you gotta get some good baby jails to mm -hmm. keep them locked in. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> well, they can't. Depending on how high you, yours can jump. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I, I'm telling you, my child, I don't, I don't, I don't look at what, right, you the mama. No. You're no. supposed to go say about you, you the mama. No, no, I did my part. Carrie, I tell you, I beat her out the bed. Amen. Not that I believe anything happened to the child, because we had, we, he was saved. Yeah. And she was saved when they was babies. That's my baby, though. That's right. They're my babies. Yeah, take care. So I jump, I take her. Get them go to work the next day. No, no problem. That's right. Oh, and change the pampers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Warm their bottle up. I, 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 I say, even mom need a break. Amen. Cause you work don't mean that mom still need a break. Still. Amen. 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 Mamas need a break. That's right. 
Amen. I would give up breaks. Brother, go, 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 go to the mall. Yeah. Go spend some time with your mother. Yeah. I keep, I keep the man. Yeah. I keep Harvey and Rachel. Yeah. Keep Harvey and Rachel. Amen. Yeah. Same time. How can you not love your child? That's right. Yeah. Amen. No natural affection. How can you not go all out the way for your child? Uh huh. Right. We kept them safe. Amen. We didn't put our children on. Carrie was so, ooh, ooh. my wife, she was so strict, she wouldn't let, the, let Harvey get dirty. Mm-mm. That boy didn't know what to do when he got dirty on. <laughs> yeah, she didn't, she, she was, she was, she was, she was, she was, she went to the stream though, y'all. Thank y'all, <laughs> way, y'all were delivered from that. <laughs> but she went to the stream. The boy couldn't play outside. <laughs> so me and her mama got on her. <laughs> Let that boy play. Uh, All of the, you know, the, you know, you know, you know okay, Carrie didn't buy him no playing clothes. Mm-mm. Every clothes he had on was church clothes. <laughs> boy going to church seven days a week, <laughs> 24 hours a day. <laughs> so no, yeah, all of the kids out there in the park running around. Uh huh. <laughs> so when we finally got yeah. on her and, and said, You let my Carrie, I said, I need. I can't. I don't care if mama talks to baby, you got to let that boy play. Mm-hmm. You're so scared he's going to get hurt or something. <laughs> so he finally let him go out there and play. He said, go on, you can play. He just, go on, you can play. Y'all are real. <laughs> <laughs> this is a trick. <laughs> this is a trick. <laughs> go on, he went out there and playing, and you know what, he fell and got some dirt on his hand. He didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> I said, poor baby. <laughs> but the thing is, she was she didn't want her baby hurt. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. She took care of her child. Yeah. I take care of the good good mother. And she's the same way with them grandkids. Amen. amen. She, she's gonna take her. She's not gonna leave. Her, amen. Little old uh, 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 Eliana on that, uh, that 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 miracle round. Mm-hmm. That thing called at the mall. Yeah. yeah. That what that thing called. She has a name for it though. Karis. Kar- and that thing going up and down. She's gonna, she gonna get on it. You don't wanna ride it. We're gonna, we gonna big mama gonna ride it with you. Don't just hold on. <laughs> and by the time the horse comes around, you don't see him. <laughs> Tell off the other side and <laughs> now you wanna sue Walmart. I mean uh uh them all. <laughs> are, are y'all listening to me? Y'all young women, y'all hear me talking? It's a re- I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. The Spirit don't bring nothing forth, amen, for nothing. That's right. Everything the Spirit says is always a warning. Amen. Don't you call me That's right. after you hear this mess. Amen. Don't you call me after you hear this mess. Uh-uh. No, Lord. Hallelujah. That's right. You got to, hey man, listen to these days when they're going to teach you how to love your, your, love your, your children. children. If you don't keep your house clean, you're not loving your children. Uh-uh. They choke on stuff all the time. Uh-huh. Amen. Because you're such a lazy mama. Mm-hmm. Put everything in their mouth. They put everything in their mouth. Mm-hmm. Now you look over your baby blue. Because you don't want to keep your house clean. Mm. Amen. Don't love them enough to put the amen uh, uh, to, to to keep the hides clean. Right. Hairpins on the floor. Mm-hmm. Amen. Needles on the floor. Mm. Buying toys that a, a toddler shouldn't even have, won't even read the instruction. Amen. Tell you, amen. This is not for children three and under. Yeah, have age restrictions on. They won't even read none of that because it's amen. cute. Mm. That's why you gonna buy it. You gonna give it to your child. Then they put it in their mouth and they swallow it. And they told you because know, you wouldn't take the time out just to read. Amen. See, is this, ta- this, this toy safe for your child? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, man, I, I, I. Yeah. Go to the hospital and just spend 24 hours there and see. Right. Promise you it won't take you long before they bring in a baby in there. Amen. Crying mama and daddy running behind. Right. Amen. Oh, yeah. Not long. See it all the time. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Love your child. That's why when the 
I mean, Adrian would say, keep your house clean. That's what you're supposed to do. That's right. Since not only for you, it's safe for your, for your family, too. Yes. Safe for your husband. He won't be tripping open, and he can't go to work next day because you won't keep your house clean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know he's looking for opportunity. <laughs> Every opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Any opportunity. Then he's going to blame you. He's going to come to church and say, yeah, my wife didn't keep the house clean. I had that toy, and I just found out, and I'm out for three weeks. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, my wife, my wife, her house stay clean. She did it, and she do it for her grandbaby. You yeah. know what? And and uh, and uh, she taught Nene. Mm -hmm. Baby, you got to eat these toys. Yeah. You know, certain toys you, you can't. Yeah. You know. Ages. <coughs> you say what? That it got ages on it for a reason. That you have ages on those toys for a reason. You got to stop as mothers because most likely you the one buying the stuff. Mm -hmm. Very rare you see a, a dad going by and stuff. Normally, mom normally do that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. you're supposed to read and see whether or not this, go, this, this is good for your child. Amen. 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 That's see, right. kids did walk up, but dad don't, parents don't put the gun up, right? Right. Children killing their own mm -hmm. siblings. Yeah. Because they don't know the difference between a real gun and a play gun. Yeah. You say, how can something like that happen? Leaving knives on places. Mm -hmm. Amen. How can that happen? Yeah. Child picked a knife up and run and fell. And, amen. And hallelujah. Yeah. Now your child in the hospital because you wouldn't put it, because you want to cut the potatoes in the living room. Right. Because you're lazy like that. You like sitting down cutting stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you take it in the living room, sit down there, and you cut the potato and then leave the knife right there on the chair. Mm -hmm. Then your phone beat. You don't pass nothing that comes out, amen, that, come, that, 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 that appears on your phone when it has, has to do with Facebook. Uh -huh. Man, you sitting there looking at that stuff, and then the child picked up the knife and fell and, and stabbed himself. And you ain't going to tell everybody what you was doing. Uh -uh. You, you don't act like you didn't know what happened. I don't know what all I know. Mm -mm. Amen. Then the law get involved. How did the child get the knife? Mm -hmm. how, how did that happen? Now you got to make up something because you, you put yourself in a position where you have to lie just make up something because you don't want to look like a bad mama, right? Right. See, how quiet and everything. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, Amen. You don't want to look like a bad mother, right? So now you got to make up stuff. Then it, it hits you then how you, amen, what you should have done. Mm -hmm. You'd be saying to yourself, I was stupid. Why did I leave that there? Right. Yeah. Why did I leave that there? I'm stupid. Then the devil get in the picture, now the dad, the, the father and mother, they can't get along. Right. Because of what happened to the child, now they, man, they can't get along, blaming one another. Mm -hmm. right? 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 Yes. Amen. Now they divorce, they separate. Uh huh. Yep. Say, only through Yeshua. Yes. Things can be mended Amen. and made perfect. Hallelujah. And when we hold fast to the teaching of, of the Messiah, yes. Amen, he keeps us safe. Amen. Yes. Amen. Come over us. I need to get through. It's to be discreet. So, to wife, your young sister, y'all listening? Yes. Amen. Love your children. Yes. To be discreet. Yes. Be aware of what's going on. Just Amen. don't forget things. Hallelujah. You Amen. take the medicine, put the pill, put the top back on it, and yeah. put the medicine back up in the cabinet. Don't leave it there. Yeah. Well, they can't get it. Don't leave it there. That's right. Because I know how young people is. You, 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 you got a headache. Go get the, uh, the Tylenol. Open it up. Take what you want out and lay it down. Go get some water. Leave it there. Mm -hmm. Just leave it there. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. And here comes Junior. Oh, yeah. He see you eating. He's hungry, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know you lay your baby down. You think he just sleep. Feel the too strong for the child. Don't wake up. You on no tape, man. You realize the baby ain't woke up yet. You go see everybody, the child, the child's dead. No response. Because right. you were too lazy. Amen. It happens, yes. Amen. Not caring enough. Amen. It happened all the time. Oh, yeah. These curses up. Yeah. Whatever the Spirit said, it always, I tell you what, I tell you, when they think about the Holy Ghost, it always warned us before it happened. Amen. It always sent a warning before it happened. Amen. Yes, it now, does. Now, Holy Ghost know why the Spirit going this way, and you know too. 
Amen. It's going to save your house. Yeah. Save your child, too. Amen. Save your marriage, too. Oh, yeah. Because whenever the devil's in a thing, he, he's at the root, root up. Amen. So y'all young sisters, y'all young mothers, y'all hear me talking? Yeah. You that got children. Age women come to you about your child, give some instruction. You'll be wise if you listen to them. Mm-hmm. A couple more verses and we're going to go. To love their children. You now you love your children. To be discreet. They be aware of what's going on in your home. Chase. Yeah. Keepers at home. Yes. Good. Mm-hmm. Obedient to oh, their own husbands. Listen to your husband. If your husband say, baby, baby you, know what the, you know what the mother said. You need to start doing that. Mm-hmm. I heard what the spirit said. We need to start that. Don't, don't do that no more. Oh, yeah. Y'all hear me talking? Yes. And you need to love your husband when he brings this to your attention. Don't get mad. Amen. You do what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, don't act like that. Mm-hmm. Somebody has to need to have some sense. Amen. Amen. So love your husband. Amen. Mm-hmm. That the word of God be that not the blasphemed. Word of God be not what? 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 Blasphemed. And how can the word of God be blasphemed? <laughs> not being obedient. Not being obedient. So what? Amen. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So Hallelujah. Let's, let's give an example. Samantha that won't listen. Mm-hmm. Baby fall, hit her, hit her head. Go into a coma. Mm. Mm. Law getting involved. What happened? Oh, we got a record that this baby fell about four or five times already. How many times y'all want this baby fall in y'all house? Who's at the house? Mm-hmm. Oh, daddy and mom. Boy, y'all both were there? How did that happen? Right. You know what people say? That's the church over there. They teach stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Now, in the name of the, y'all always blaspheme because you won't obey. Right. Amen. Amen. Oh, don't go over to church over there. They, they, they baby killers over there. Mm-hmm. Come, 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 you wouldn't obey. Yep. Amen. Oh, you listen to me. Amen. He that has an ear to hear, let him hear. Amen. This is salvation tonight. Oh, it, yeah. You may go away crying, but it's going to save that child. Hallelujah. Amen. It's going to save your marriage. Oh, yeah. And once the devil gets in the picture, a yeah. lot of marriage breaks up because of stuff like this. Yeah. Amen. Yes, it's hard to live with it. Yes, it is. Hard to live with it. Amen. If the child died, and, and, and when the, and the child's in the father's hand, hard for that mother to look at that, look at her husband, right? Mm-hmm. In the moment. How, could, how could you let this happen? Yeah. Right. Same way. The, why, 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 husband, why, why did you let this happen? Amen. Well, this is the only thing going to keep that from happening. Amen. Amen. That's right. So when age come to y'all young sisters, Y'all listen to them. Amen. You'll do well. Hallelujah. Yes. So we thank y'all for our... I, I, I say this is the reason why we don't write our message today. <laughs> That's right. This is going to save somebody tonight. Amen. You know we talking about? We thank y'all for unseen hurting horn. Oh, oh, here it is. This is how he does it. Amen. Let's all receive the teacher by saying praise Yahweh. That's right. Amen. Amen.